Hello and welcome to my seventh video of my Name for Beginners tutorial series, Conditional Statements. Now it's time to teach you about conditional statements, what they are and how to make them. So far we have written code that was always executed at some point, but you don't always want that. What if you wanted to display some text only if it met some conditions you set? For that, conditional statements are used. Conditional statements are a way of branching your programs, branches that will only execute if their conditions are met. This is how buttons in programs do certain things when you press them. For example, when we press F6 in Visual Studio Code with a .NAME file open with the NIM extension installed, it will compile our program with default settings and run it in the integrated terminal. The simplest conditional statement is an IF statement. An IF statement will only execute and only once if its condition is met. Let me demonstrate this. If 10 is larger than 5, echo 10 is larger than 5. Now let's run the program and see if it works. Here we go. 10 is larger than 5 because 10 is larger than 5 and this is a larger than operator. The if statement is used for the checking a condition followed by a condition that has to be met in order for the code to execute. This is the condition. After the condition, we end the statement with a score sign followed by two spaces of indentation followed by the code that we want to execute. Echo 10 is larger than 5. This two space indentation and the score sign is used in every conditional statement in them, as well as procedures and other advanced structures. You also cannot use tabs to indent code unless the IDE of choice, Visual Studio Code in my case, supports tabs that make spaces, which it does. This is just a warning to anyone not using Visual Studio Code, because if, if you're using an IDA or another code editor like Visual Studio Code that does not support tabs, that make spaces, tabs can break your code. Now we can also do this with strings. Let's do this. If hello is equal to hello, then let's echo hello is equal to hello. Here we used a double equal sign which is used for comparisons, while the single equal sign is used for assignment. If we were to use a single equal sign, the condition would then be read as if hello assign hello, which wouldn't make any sense, nor would it compile. The double equal sign condition can only be passed if the two values on each of the sides are identical, exactly the same. Now let's run this if, and see if it works. Hello is equal to hello, it compiles. Now, if we were to remove an L on the left side, it wouldn't compile. Only the first one does. Now, if you put it back and we remove it from the other side, it's not gonna work again. Now, if we make it a lowercase h, it's also not gonna work. This is all because they have to be exactly identical. You can also put if statements within if statements, make branches within branches. If five is less than 50, let's make some more code. Five is less than 50. Now let's run this and see if it works. Here we go, it does. This operator is just like the top one that we used up here, except that it checks if the value of five is smaller than 50 instead of 10 is larger than five. What if we wanted to execute some code if the first condition is not met? This can be done using the else statement. An else statement can be used only after the first conditional statement. You cannot use an else statement on its own. You can only follow up on an if statement or some other conditional statement I will introduce to you in a future video. Now let's see how an else statement looks like. Let's put it here under the F1, else with the score, indentation, which is automatic in Visual Studio Code when you press enter after the score sign, followed by some code, but then else number two, because we're gonna put another one down here, else, okay, don't jump here, else, else number one. Now let's run this. Okay, nothing happens. That is because both of the if statements conditions are met. Therefore, these conditions happen and their echoes are displayed. Now, let's break these conditions. Let's remove an L here and a zero here. Now, this else statement will happen. Let's see, else number one, this one happened. That is because the first if statement did not happen and because it did not happen, it went straight to the else statement down here else number one. 
Note that only one else statement can exist per each if statement. Therefore, this one can only have one. This one can also only have one. Now let's test this by adding another else statement. Else, an empty string. In Visual Studio Code already detects this as a problem because each conditional statement, an if statement or some other one, I will show you in some future video, can only have one else statement. This one down here. Since there can only be one else statement, which only allows for option A of if statement to happen, and if option A doesn't happen, then option B of the else statement happens instead. What if you needed more than that? For that exists an elif statement, short for else if statement, but is written as elif. An elif statement is like an if statement, except that it cannot be used on its own. It's used to chain multiple if statements together. Okay, let's comment this out. Okay, let's make a new if statement. If one is not equal to two, let's execute this code. One not equal two. Exclamation mark followed by the equal sign means not equal. Now let's copy paste this two times. Once, twice, okay, it indents it. That's Visual Studio Code doing his stuff. Okay. Let's change the values a little bit. One does not equal three. One does not equal four. Now let's copy this entire code and indent it and replace the if keywords with elifs. The difference between the above code and the below code is that each of these if statements will check if its condition is met, and if it is, it will happen. Whilst with the bottom code, if the first if doesn't happen, then neither of these two elifs will happen. Now let's add an else statement to complete the syntax. Else echo final statement. Okay, let's run this. Okay, one not equal to two, one not equal to three, one not equal to four, and one not equal to two. This is because, like I said before, all of these will happen if their conditions are met, and all of them are. Whilst here, only one of these can happen. And therefore, since the first one's condition is met, one is not equal to two, the first one will execute. All of the others will be ignored. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you had any problems with any part of the video, let me know in the comment section. The code for this video is in the link in the description. Have fun.